Today, we look at a moth that thinks he's a hummingbird. This is the Creation Moments Minute. The Sphinx moth behaves in every way like a hummingbird and feeds on the nectar inside tobacco blooms. The moth hovers over the flower while inserting its long tongue into the flower. As a normal moth, the Sphinx could never reach the nectar in these deep-throated blooms, but it has a special tongue like a hummingbird. Its tongue has two grooved halves, which when fitted together create what amounts to a long straw to draw out nectar. If the two halves didn't fit perfectly, the moth would starve to death. Obviously, the tongue of the first Sphinx moth had to be fully formed. The wonderfully varied patterns in creation do not speak of relationships forged by millions of years of evolution. Rather, they speak of creative relationships carefully designed by one all-wise creator. Support us online at creationmoments.com donate. For Creation Moments Minute, I'm Darren Marlin.